Welcome to this week on Hot Golf. I'm in Amelia Island, Florida. It's a little north of Jacksonville. If you love Jimmy Buffett, if you love the ocean, if you love the beach, and if you love golf, Amelia Island is the place to go. So let's tee it up this week on Hot Golf. Oh! I hit a sea turtle. <laughs> I'm joined now by Clayton Boggs, a man who loves wine, sunshiny days, and what else? Quick, hurry. golf. Golf, I figured so. <laughs> Clay he should because he is, what, what's your title here? Uh, assistant golf professional. At Amelia Island Golf Club, man. That's a great job you've got here. Thank you. It's a fun job. Tell me a little bit, first of all, about Amelia Island. Uh, well, it's a, it's a small island, not very big, uh, but near Jacksonville, Metro Jacksonville. Um, so you get all the fun of going to Jacksonville for sporting events, Jaguar games, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then it's a resort island also. So we've got uh, the Ritz-Carlton here. We've got Summer Beach Resort, which is uh, affiliated with our golf club also that has condos up and down here. Uh, there is a small uh, city on the island called Fernandina Beach. Uh, it's got a decent nightlife. Oh, it's got a great nightlife. <laughs> don't, don't underestimate it. I but, wouldn't live but, here if it wasn't. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's some beautiful. Great shops night. like that. So it's a great place. I love it. It's usually warm. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes a cold snap comes into Florida. Really quaint little island. Well, the golf course is literally in the shadow of the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, where you can have a great meal or a spa visit. Let's start talking about the course a little bit. Break it down for us. Parkland okay. Golf Course. Uh, well, the, the course was uh, open in 87, 1987, uh, which was before the uh, hotel was here, actually. Uh, when we started, they were... Well, this is before the clubhouse here uh, was uh, built. We were across the street uh, by our first tee and then moved over here and actually switched the nines. Mm. So our uh, front became the back. And then when the clubhouse was built, uh, we, we changed them back about six, six eight months after that. Uh, What's our total length here, Clayton? Uh, just over 6,800 from the tips. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does play longer than that. We're, we're at elevation here, uh, at sea level, I should say, uh, and sand-based the whole course is, so you don't get any roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, as far as you carry it, that's as far as it's, it's going. It's going to plug right in there. Yep. Well, uh, let's talk front, a little bit about the topography. Yeah, the front know? nine uh, The front nine is basically uh, oak trees, some live oak trees and some ponds, a uh, good bit of water. There's water on 13 holes uh, out here. And then the back nine is uh, a little more wide open, some marshes, uh, forced carries over a few marshes, uh, an island green surrounded by some marsh, uh, and a little bit longer. Back nine's longer than the front, I would say. Some good, good long par fours. What's your favorite holes? Uh, probably 16, par three with the, with the marsh, uh, and then I would say 18. 18's just long, tough par four, usually into the wind. I well, you like it because you're he's a golf pro and he's winning the game on 18. And that's where we double down, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, well, I'll take you on the par three. All right. I promise you, I own you Deal. on that little pretty We'll 16. See. We'll see. Now, there's another great event that, that you've had. I think it's over 20 years now. Tell the folks about this, the legendary uh, Richard Petty. It's called uh, the Concourse to Elegance. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a car show. Uh, there's one here. There's one at Pebble Beach. Uh, there's only two in the country. Uh, we had about 275 antique cars, new cars, uh, all kinds of cars, very expensive cars. Uh, there's also an auction here. Uh, it's a, basically a two-day event, but Sunday is, is, is the show. Uh, Richard Petty was here signing autographs. Uh, all of his race cars were here displayed by our 18th green, uh, and a lot of people. We had about 16, 18,000 people on Sunday here this year. Sounds like a great event, it's social fun. event, drink some wine, look at the Absolutely, cars. absolutely. We have uh, tents with beer stands, wine, all kinds of stuff. You're a beer guy. Yeah. One look at you. He's not a wine connoisseur. I was <laughs> wrong about that. You already said that. Yeah. Hey, let's go out onto the course now here at the golf club at Amelia Island and see if I can take the pro. 
Who doesn't love par threes? You love par threes, right? I love par threes. Outstanding. Got a Jim Dandy of a one here, number five at Amelia Island. Gorgeous. Tell me how you're going to play this. Well, we're hopefully going to hit it over the water <laughs> onto the green. We got a little wind in our face, but just going to hit normal seven iron. Sir, the honors are yours. You took the last hole. Work for him, work for him. Oh. Give it a try. Yeah, that was a good one. Golfing Around is brought to you by Tea Time Golf Pass, Antigua Golfware, Tobacco Road Golf and Travel. Northern Virginia Regional Park Authority, Harrison Golf Group, 1-800-T1-OFF, Rocky Gap, Lodge and Golf Resort, The Wizard, The Witch, The Man of War, Myrtle Beach's Finest, Palace Resorts Golf, All-Inclusive World Class Golf, Nutrition 53, Live Like You Mean It. What would Florida golf be without marsh and wetlands? And we are certainly going to encounter it here on number 15. Explain the hole, Clayton. Par 5. Several marshes to hit over. Uh, over one set of marshes on the tee shot, over another one on the second shot, and again on the third shot. It's almost a little bit of target golf, and they really are in play. I mean, you, you've got to play over them, and there's really no way to get out of it. So, yep. difficult, long hole. Can you handle this, sir? I hope so. Let's We're see if find you, out. Let's see if you got game. Let's, let's see if you got some game. All right, it's so our second shot here on number 15. Uh, got about 196 left to the pin, about 185 to the front edge. I'm gonna try and hit a little four iron hybrid up there in the wind and carry it on up on the green. All right, Clayton Boggs, your life is all before you, including the marsh in this par three on number 16. It is. How are you going to play it? Uh, well, there's a little wind in our back. Uh, well, the ocean's right there. The ocean's right there. We're blowing off the ocean. Just going to hit a nice nine iron, let the, let the wind carry it a little bit. Distance is? Uh, 140. 140, and you're using a nine iron it's with the wind. Be, I think that should choke, be good. It's going to be choked down a little bit. I don't... Well, don't choke. Choke it <laughs> down. Amelia Island is located in northeast Florida and it is one of those out of the way places that you can get lost in and recapture some of the things that you had in your youth uh, with a little peace and tranquility and not a lot of commercialism. There's horseback riding, kayaking, there's a lot of eco-friendly uh, uh, hobbies that people do, bike riding, you can ride from one end of the island to another. Uh, you can actually ride the horses on the beach, which is fun, and some places you can actually drive your car on the beach at. Summer Beach Resort is a group of privately owned condominium, condominiums and townhomes that uh, participate in our rental program, and we rent to families that uh, are looking to have a short drive from Georgia, perhaps, or uh, Florida. We get many drive-in 
I think more drive-in business than we do from uh, people flying in. But again, people coming here are looking to get away from, I think, the busyness of a standard ocean atmosphere where you go to Wildwood or something like that. They're looking to have a safe place where their kids can run on the beach and play and still have a family uh, uh, gathering without feeling pressure. They're uh, a combination of two, three, and four bedroom condos. Some of them are in independent units. Some of them are in a building like uh, Ocean Place that has seven floors. Uh, they're all designed different. They're all decorated different according to the owner's tastes. And you could be, one could look like New York in a, in a nice uh, penthouse up there, or you could come to the beachy view and you'll have a lot of sailboats and uh, marine uh, motif. Our golf club, it's a golf club of Amelia Island on Summer Beach. Uh, built and designed by Mark McCumber. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, greens. Uh, unbelievable. It was home to the Concourse Car Show last weekend. And uh, I do amazingly well on the first nine holes and very poorly on the last nine holes. Golfing Around is brought to you by Tea Time Golf Pass, Antigua Golfwear, Tobacco Road Golf and Travel, the Northern Virginia Regional Park Authority, Harrison Golf Group, 1-800-T1-OFF, Rocky Gap Lodge and Golf Resort, Wizard, the Witch, the Man of War, Myrtle Beach's Finest, Palace Resorts Golf, All-Inclusive World Class Golf, Nutrition 53, Live Like You Mean It. Okay, 14, 15, 17, 18 clubs. All right, 18 clubs, not regulation, but I'm going to need all of them and all the balls in my bag to attack all four golf courses, four of them, baby, here at Amelia Plantation. First one up, Long Point. Long Point is consistently ranked as one of the top golf courses in all of Florida. Let's take a look at it and you decide. We're now on number 15 at Long Point and it is a par three about 150 yards to the pin. Oceans behind me, the breeze, the beach, absolutely gorgeous. You know, Long Point itself is consistently ranked in the top 15 courses in all of Florida. You can see why behind me. Not only is it beautiful, but this is a very, very challenging golf course. Every hole makes you work. Some of the holes off the tees looks like you're hitting into a runway. Get up to the green, well bunkered, well guarded. Every hole makes you work on long point. We've moved up to hole number 16. It is also a par three beside the ocean. One of the reasons I wanted to stop and show you is if you look behind me and you look at the contour and the topography of this hole, this is why Long Point is an excellent golf course. The undulations, a lot of places, I mean this is really a Lynx hole here. Again, a Lynx golf course truly is not in the middle of Nebraska. It is the land that links the ocean, the sand behind me, to the inland. So this hole is truly a Lynx hole, and if you look at the topography, the way it moves, all of the holes here on Long Point do the same thing, which provides a challenge for you. But if you like a flat golf course, go play on cement. Golfing Around is brought to you by Tea Time Golf Pass, Antigua Golfware, Tobacco Road Golf and Travel, the Northern Virginia Regional Park Authority, Harrison Golf Group, 1-800-T1-OFF, Rocky Gap Lodge and Golf Resort, The Wizard, The Witch, The Man of War, 
Myrtle Beach's finest. Palace Resorts Golf. All-inclusive, world-class golf. Nutrition 53. Live like you mean it. Here on the Ocean Links at Amelia Plantation. As you can see, the Atlantic Ocean is behind me. Absolutely gorgeous. The next four holes, four, five, and six, play right beside the ocean. The breeze is blowing. Let's go lose some balls in the dunes, which I don't mind doing. All right, our confidence levels always goes up on short par fours. We'll get it up, baby. Only 236 yards to the green behind me. Couple palm trees in the way, sloping down to the ocean. Should be a fairly easy shot. Maybe even get home in three. Woo! We can do that. All right, not bad off the tees. I've got about 90 yards to an elevated green, little slope to the right, choke down pitching wedge. With a good follow through, should get it done. A little low runner. Oh, oh! We're at the beach, we found the sand once again. All right, push it a little bit right into the sand it came. So let's see if I can get it out of here in one take. And we're not gonna be disingenuous. If I can't get this thing out of here, you're gonna see me hacking away until I get it out of here. Hide the kids, hide grandma, here we go, baby. For your viewing pleasure. All right, on to number five. You know, Amelia Island, a lot of people don't know where it is. It's so easy to get to. Fly into Jacksonville, fly into Orlando, bring the family over. This island has so much to do on it. You and your family are gonna enjoy it. Maybe it's your old army buddies that wanna come down. You gotta try it. Why? Well, one of the holes behind me should be enough reason for you to come on down. It's par three, hole number five. Wind's coming off the ocean. I mean, this is golf to me. This is what I live for. Seagulls flying around, suns, you know. <laughs> what more can I say? It's about 147 yards to that green, and it's treacherous out there. The whole thing to the right just fading into the ocean. So let's see how I do. Back-to-back -back par threes, number five, now number six on the Ocean Links golf course. Again, absolutely fab fabulous, fantabulous. The ocean's behind me, the beach is behind me, and my work is behind me also at this point. That's almost a postage size green out there, so hopefully I can hit it. Of course, downhill, you would probably want to club back. It's about 156, but with the wind coming off the ocean, it's gonna make it a very difficult shot probably mostly because I'm distracted by that girl down there in the red bikini, but don't mind that. Hole number 16 on the ocean course. Runs, of course, beside the ocean. Beautiful, stunning, challenging breathtaking. Choose your poison to describe this hole. It is a par four. It is over 400 yards long. You've got to take in the wind and you can see behind me that it's threading the eye of the needle to get down there. So we'll take the wind in play and we'll take the sun, you know, the sunshine can mess up your back swing. Greens are immaculate. Rolling really fast. Probably around a nine on the stamp meter right now. Green is 16. We always hear the ball's gonna break towards the water, towards the ocean. Well, I would at least hope so on this one. Got a little downhill slope to it. I'm gonna try to kick it out to the left of the pin, maybe two feet, let it break in.
That might work, kids. That might work. I, I hate when that happens.